Hey guys, welcome back to Pass Money Plan. I'm Alex, that's Kirby. We're going to be talking about the second one on this list from the wealth coach, which is freedom is greater than income is what it looks like. Me and Kirby are just going to add our own twist on this. Um, we have mixed thoughts on whether or not it's greater. If it's active income, I would agree, yeah, it's greater. If you have assets to provide freedom and maybe your assets provide you know, 60,000 a year and your active income is 120,000, but you could, but you live off of 35 or 40, then yeah, I would agree that uh, freedom is uh, greater than that active income. But I think income, as Kirby would say as, as well, I think income equals freedom. I think um, you can use your income to buy freedom. And if you use it right, if you're financially literate and you use your income to purchase uh, income producing assets, and then those assets eventually pr uh, provide you uh, your lifestyle or your life and can pick, cover everything, then I think um, you have reached freedom, per se. And, and everybody determines wealth based on, excuse me, they determine wealth based on a number. Is it 5 million? Is it 10 million? Is it 1 million? Is it a billion? Wealth is not based on a number. Be wealth is based on the ability to have income cover your expenses without having to work. So let's just give a quick example here. If my monthly expenses is $5,000, but I have $10,000, $5,000 a month, excuse me, and I have $10,000 a month coming from a passive business, uh, real estate, dividends coming in every month. Um, or, you know, residuals from music or movies or something like that, and it's paying me $10,000 a month, then I'm wealthy because all this is passive. This is me not having to work and it's covering my living expenses. That's what wealth is. Rich is a number. Rich is, oh, I make a million dollars. I make $5 million. I make $10 million. That's what rich is. Wealth is not... Wealth and the thing is, wealth will last longer than riches because once you have that residual money coming in over and over, and it's paying for your lifestyle. These people that are rich, and you see it with athletes, football players, um, sports stars, lottery winners, they get a lump sum of money, and then soon they stop actively working. Then they're filing bankruptcy and losing all their money because they spend as much as they make. Wealth is you make way more than you spend without having to work for the money that you make. And so freedom is income or freedom, or I don't know how he was trying to express it in this uh, tweet here, but freedom is cause or freedom is the effect or freedom is the byproduct of buying assets that will produce money or offshoot money in a passive capacity that will outgrow your lifestyle. And that's how you get to freedom. That's how you get to wealth. That's how that's the income that will provide wealth, that will provide freedom. And it's really freedom for you to do whatever you want. In my example, I said my living expenses is $5,000. I bring in $10,000 a month on uh residual passive income uh so that's five thousand dollars a month that i mean of course if you're wealthy you probably only make you know twenty five hundred dollars a month but in just math terms that's five thousand dollars a month you have free and clear to you have the freedom to do what you want five thousand dollars can take you from the east coast to the west coast of florida i mean east coast to the west coast of the united states $5,000 $5, can get you a, a trip, round trip to almost anywhere in the United, I mean, in the world. So that's what freedom is. It gives you the freedom to do whatever you want to do. And just like the time is money, the time is money segment is you want your time, you want your time to be able to do that stuff. But first you have to put in the time early the earlier you put in the time, the more free time you're going to have later. Like, I didn't start putting in the time until I was 28 years old. 
So I didn't get the freedom till I was in my thirties. I looked, start putting the time in probably when he came out the womb at two years old. So he's, <laughs> you know, so he's going to be, he's going to be at his free point at a way earlier age than, than I am. But that's how it gets done. The earlier you put in the time, the more free time you have left. But the longer you delay, the longer you delay putting in that work to create those streams of income. I mean, you know, like you always say, retirement accounts, Roth IRAs, 401ks, rental uh, businesses, rental property, all that stuff. Anything that can offshoot capital, the longer you take to do that, the least time you're going to have a freedom. And back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, I'm going to start at the 90s because I'm going to go to the 2000s and further. The 70s, 80s, and 90s, people could still afford to retire, maybe with a pension, with Social Security, and they could have a little place, and then the Social Security and the pension checks will cover their rent. Now, you fast forward to 2022, pensions are obsolete. Uh, Social Security is on his last leg. And even the people that's retiring now, the money that they're making from pension and Social Security could barely afford the light bill, let alone the mortgage payment. So that's that's the dynamic. So you can't sit there and hope you're going to depend on a pension plan, depend on Social Security to cover those aspects. You have to start putting in the work now to start buying assets so you can have that freedom and the, I mean, the more work you put in now, the younger you are, the more work you put in now, the more time you got free. But you definitely want to be free before you hit retirement age of 59 and a half to 65 years old. Have that ability to have free to live your golden years, later years to do whatever the hell you want. But if you don't put in the time now, you will be working your ass off at 75 years old and 80 years old, hoping somebody lets you sleep on their couch. That's all I got, Alex. I would agree with all the points. Uh, the one I would just reiterate is, like you said, you got to put in the time uh, to start and it's not easy. Uh, I know Instagram and social media and all that, they make it look super easy. Like the only thing they're showing is all their assets they are showing their house, their cars, the lifestyle that they live. But the true ones and maybe a couple of them are lucky, but the real ones that actually have it all. It, I mean, they went through years of being alone just focusing on their craft. Um, no friends, no family, basically. No holidays, no birthdays. That's one thing people can't seem to give up is their birthday. You know, none of those, mm -hmm. you know, things. You, you're you not going to be in a comfortable spot when you first start out. But if you want the rest of your life to yourself, all the time in the world, once you're 30, then it's going to take five to 10 years of just grinding it out really hard. But yeah. hey, with all that being said, thanks for tuning in. Hit the like and subscribe button. I stole Alex's line right there. You see that? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> you have a good one. We'll see you in the next video. All right. We'll see you guys.